Hey YouTube, it's Tuesday, which is personal development day, diamond vibes, and becoming your best self, but specifically your health and your body, okay? So let's talk about the word diet. Wah, wah. When you hear that word, you just want to cringe. Like, you immediately think, Ugh, I'm going to have to freaking restrict stuff, and I'm going to be limited, and eh. and then immediately you just want to binge on like, you know, an entire pizza. <laughs> That's me, at least. So I want to talk about it because there's a concept that I learned, and this was before I lost my weight, with the total solution that I have now. And if you want that total solution or you want to work with me um, and actually be a coach who helps others with the total solution, just email me and we'll talk and I'll share more about it. Um, we'll just connect personally on it. But I want to tell you about this really cool concept that I learned before I lost weight. And it's it is called permitters versus restrictors. And I think it's, yeah, it's Janine Roth. It's one of her books. And she comes um, at food from a very like Buddhist perspective, like being present with your food and, you know, eating your soup with presence and like almost like being in a meditation while you eat. Now, I personally like to eat my food while I watch a favorite show on television because that's my style. And guess what? I'm going to do that because I enjoy it and it's fun. And I'll tell you why that's important in a second. But she talks about this concept of permitters versus restrictors. And I thought it was brilliant because I realized that I oscillate from both extremes. So you figure out and let me know in the comments below which one you are. Okay. A permitter is when you have a relationship with food where you're constantly in the energy of, fuck it, I'm going to have the cake. F it, I'm going to eat the pizza. Like you're always in this energy of, um, I'm going to permit myself to have that. Like, don't tell me what to do, <laughs> right? That's one type of relationship with food. The other extreme is a restrictor. That's the type of person who is so neurotically concerned with wanting to lose weight and to go into that diet mentality that you're like, oh my God, I have to measure it. Oh my God, it's gonna be perfect. I've got to restrict, I've got to restrict, I've got to restrict. And you're coming from this energy of, I have to restrict. I could only have, you know, one bite of the pizza and then I, I have to have this enormous salad. And, you know, and it's very just drill sergeant to the point where it's almost unhealthy, right? And that's why diets don't work. If you've ever heard of John Gabriel and his story, I would advise you to look that up because that was another book I read that I loved. And it was about this, this guy who was like 200, 300 pounds. I mean, he was severely obese. And he just re realized one day that his body wanted to be fat. And until he could, um, until his body was ready to not be fat anymore, like he started to see the emotional ties and he started to see how the diet mentality was actually not serving him. It was making him binge more. And it wasn't until he used a mindfulness approach of, I'm gonna add it in. So I'm gonna have the ice cream if I want it, but I'm also gonna add in the broccoli. I'm gonna add in, right? So when people tell me that they'll never go on a diet, right? There's two sides to that, okay? And I'm gonna tell you why. The first side to it is yes, diets don't work. The mentality of a diet doesn't work. This, this extreme idea of restricting doesn't work. But on the other side of the diet mentality is for the, those permitters. Those permitters who are gonna say, I am gonna eat all the food and I'm gonna freaking love it. That was me. I was an emotional eater and I was eating Jersey Mike subs, number seven, turkey and provolone with lots of mayo and my dirty chives with like 50 grams of sugar from Starbucks. That's what I was eating every single day for like many years in my early 30s before I found my solution. Whoo, that was intense. And I loved it. It was a drug for me, right? So on the other side of the idea that diets don't work, you have to recognize that sometimes you need portion control. You need <clears throat> management of what you're eating and you need to be conscious and intentional of what you're putting in your body. So what is it, right? Because it, is it the side where you're just allowing yourself and it's this mindfulness, like amazingness, or is it this um, idea that there, you need to have control, right? Well, it's both, and I'm gonna tell you the secret. I'm gonna tell you the secret of how to, how to actually tell yourself that you're gonna start a diet with success. And you're gonna switch the word. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're not gonna tell yourself you're doing a diet. No, you're not doing diets. Throw away diets, they don't work, okay? Even the word just makes you cringe. You're gonna go on a protocol. 
This is key. Now here's why this is key, because you need some type of um, organization, some type of process, some type of structure in order to create a result, right? But you don't want that process and that structure to create um, this energy of, that survival energy of, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, you're gonna tell me what to do, and then you wanna rebel, right? So you wanna see it as a protocol, like, oh, I'm gonna create this protocol, and the protocol is gonna really work for me. It's gonna be a protocol that's gonna give me um, results, but at the same time, it's gonna have space for me to enjoy life. It's gonna have space for me to really um, be who I am, right? So when I went on my journey, I told myself, I'm committed for one full year, I'm gonna do a, a fitness program from start to finish, finish, and once I finish that, I'm gonna do another one and another one and another one for one entire full year. I'm going to follow the, the nutrition programs that I, had, that I had access to, and there were two different ones that I merged together. So one was a balanced, balanced portion control, uh, balanced macros, porch and control system. So you're making sure you're getting an even balance, right? It's not a diet where you're, I can't have carbs at all, or I can't have healthy fat at all, or, you know, it's, it's balance. You're having a balance of healthy fats. You're having a balance of protein. You're having a balance of um, healthy carbohydrates or fiber filled carbohydrates, and you're just getting a balance. And then if you want to have a little wine, you can substitute. If you want to have a little, you know, chips, you can substitute, right? So there's a balance and there's flexibility but it's also controlled. There's a portion control based on your weight loss result that you wanna hit, okay? But I also have a mindfulness eating solution that helps me um, get into that mind set of, oh, if I wanna go out on Thursday night with my friend and go to our favorite restaurant, I'm gonna enjoy the appetizer. I'm gonna enjoy the things. And I'm gonna know that I'm most likely not gonna have a weight loss date the next day I'm, because I'm gonna enjoy it, right? And I'm gonna do it from an intentional conscious place. So these two programs have helped me greatly. But the biggest thing I've learned in my journey and the secret to never having to diet again is you don't go on a diet. You pick a protocol and you go on a lifestyle journey. So this is the key. It's a lifestyle, not a diet. I'm gonna say that again. It's a lifestyle, not a diet. You find a protocol that's gonna work for you, okay? And I have them if you need them. So email me if you need support. But you're gonna pick a protocol and you're gonna make it your lifestyle. And so what that means is there's gonna be certain seasons. There's gonna be certain seasons where you go up and wait. There's gonna be cer certain seasons where you go down and wait. And it's gonna be a journey of self-discovery, right? So for me, year one, I lost 32 pounds in year one, okay? 32 pounds. And what happened in year two? I gained 10. And the reason why I gained 10 in year two was because I, I had to get awareness in my body and recognize that my body didn't like dairy and my body didn't like um, the, the gluten, right? My body really wanted, and then slowly but surely, I, I realized that I actually wanted to be vegan. So that was another thing, right? So in year two, I lost those 10 pounds, right? And now, so that was actually year three. So year one, I lost 30, 32 pounds. In year two, I gained 10, okay? In year three, I lost the 10 pounds and more. I think it was like even more than 10. And this year, I'm now moving forth to complete the, the rest of the 20 pounds that I do want to lose. And for me, I know that it's, I don't care. I don't need to be at this number that I want to be at. It's, it's just about who can I become in the journeying of, of uh, working toward the goal of getting to that weight, right? And so I, I focus at two pounds at a time and I'm very conscious. And if I do want to treat myself, knowing that I'm probably going to go up a little bit, I know that the next week I've got a food protocol that's going to bring me back down, right? So it's all about this lifestyle that you create for yourself. And you know, because you know you're committed for life, the world's your oyster. So comment below if you have questions. Let's talk about it. Health is so important right now. Taking control of your health is so important right now. And if you want to take back control of your health with me, then email me and we'll talk about it. See you tomorrow.